Hello, in this short lecture I will talk about the most fundamental structure of matter. Actually, as you can see in this picture, there is 17 elementary particles or uh, the matter consists of 17 elementary particles. Those are the 17 elementary particles and uh, each uh, elementary particle has its own antiparticle so in total we have uh, 17 elementary particles uh, plus 17 uh, uh, elementary antiparticles and uh, those 17 elementary particles consist of 12 elementary matter particles in the purple color and in the green color. In total we have 12 elementary matter particles, the 6 in the purple color are the quarks and in the green color we have six leptons so in total we have 12 elementary matter particles um, and uh, those elementary matter particles are also called fermions okay in addition we have four, as you can see in the red color, we have four elementary force particles. And uh, these elementary force particles actually carry the four fundamental forces in nature. And uh, the 17th elementary particle is boson X that uh, actually uh, is uh, responsible for the masses that the other particles have. As you can see in this picture, all the elementary particles except of the gluon and the photon have mass as you can see here the mass of the gluon is zero and the mass of the photon is also zero and all the other elementary particles have masses it is the first number in each uh, box okay and the origin of their masses is boson X uh, so uh, the gluon the force particle gluon carry the strong nuclear force that binds the protons together in the nucleus of the atom. As I already said, it's mass, the mass of the elementary particle is zero, and we have eight types of gluons. Then we have 
the photon force particle that carry the electromagnetic force. The electromagnetic force explains how charged particles interact with each other. And uh, then we have the boson Z and the boson W that carry the weak nuclear force that uh, is responsible for the radioactive decay of atoms. And actually we have two types of uh, boson W. So in total we have in this table 12 uh, elementary force particles because we have eight types of gluons, one type of uh, photon, one type of boson Z, and two types of boson W particles, so in total is 12 elementary force particles, and uh, the 13th uh, force particle that is not in this table is the particle that carries the gravitational force and it is called graviton. Uh, the graviton hasn't discovered yet, but the scientists uh, believe that uh, this elementary particle does exist. And uh, as uh, you have already know, the gravitational force is responsible uh, for the fact that every two objects uh, with mass in the universe are attracted to each other and the force of the attraction is proportional to the product of the masses of the objects divided by the square of the root uh, by the square of the distance between them. Okay, so in total we have 13 elementary force particles that carry the four fundamental forces in nature. Then we have, the, as I already explained to you, the boson X particle that is responsible or that is the origin of the masses in the other elementary particles, all of them have mass except of the gluon and the photon that have zero mass. Okay, uh, so we can uh, say that the basic building blocks of matter are the atoms and uh, a group of atoms that are bound together with a chemical bond is called a molecule. An example of uh, a molecule is the water molecule that its uh, formula is H2O that is to say it has two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom that are bound together in a chemical bond and create the water molecule. And uh, actually the atom itself consists of electrons that orbit around the center of it 
and in the center of the atom we have the nucleus that consists of uh, protons and neutrons. The neutrons uh, have no charge and the protons have a positive charge and uh, the number of uh, protons in the nucleus of the atom determines which chemical element it is. For example, the oxygen atom has eight protons in its nucleus, while the hydrogen atom has only one proton in its nucleus. Okay, and uh, the protons and the, the neutrons are, uh, are not uh, elementary particles because they themselves consist of quarks. As I wrote this, uh, uh, showed you, the quarks in the purple color we have six types of quarks and these uh, six quarks are the elementary particles out of the 17 uh, elementary particles that we know that exist. Okay, thank you very much.